Today's laboratory session will focus on the usage of RNA Z plant mini kit for the extraction of RNA from this wheat grass samples. We have specifically chosen this plant because it yields extremely high amounts of RNA during the germinating phase. To begin with, transfer 480 microliters of buffer RLT into a tube. You may transfer a small section of your tissue sample into this tube. Homo homogenization of the sample tissue can be done using a warring blender or a homogenizer. In this case, we'll be using a motorized blender. This now represents the lysate which contains all the nucleic acids including the DNA and the RNA. Now the RNA Z plant kit comes with this column which is purple in color and this is termed as the Kaya Shredder column. The column consists of two sections upper section which is purple and contains the cartridge and the lower section which is essentially a collection tube. Transfer this lysate into the upper column and we now can proceed to centrifugation. So I have set this centrifuge to 12,000 G for one minute. I will now attempt to spin down like I said. This is what you will see after you spin down. You can now discard the upper column and add an equal volume of 100% or absolute ethanol to the lower filtrate. So this is what you will see. You may see some formation of precipitate, but all of this needs to be transferred into the next column. So briefly pipette this mixture. Now the RNAZ kit is equipped with this pink column, which is called a RNAZ mini spin column. Detach a column. And this column consists of two parts. The lower part is a collection tube, the upper part is the membrane containing element. Transfer this 
mixture into the collection tube. Now from this step onwards, centrifugation is done very briefly. So I am centrifuging this tube at 13,000 G for 15 seconds. The lower collection tube can now be discarded and the upper tube has to be transferred to a fresh collection tube. This is buffer RW1. You need to transfer 500 microliters of buffer RW1 into the upper section of this tube. So we have RW1, you transfer. Spin down briefly for 15 seconds at 13,000 G. Repeat this procedure one more time. So you have a fresh collection tube. Insert the tube containing your RNA sample into the collection tube. Add 500 microliters of buffer RW1 into the upper section. Spin this again for 15 seconds at 13,000 G. Use a press collection tube at every stage to prevent contamination. The next buffer which we use is buffer RPE. This is a wash buffer which contains ethanol. So it's 500 microliters of wash buffer RPE. Spin down for 15 seconds at 13,000 G.
this procedure may be repeated twice. The next step involves drying of this column in order to eliminate any residual moisture or alcohol which may interfere with the downstream processing of RNA. In order to do this, replace the tube in a fresh collection tube, transfer it to the centrifuge and spin down at 13,000 G for two minutes. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will spin down briefly. However, when you adopt this procedure, please ensure that the tube is centrifuge for two minutes. After centrifugation, you can visually inspect the interior of the tube for any traces of solvent. The next step involves recovery of the RNA. In order to do this, use a fresh, sterile centrifuge tube. In this case, it's a 1.5 ml append of tube. Transfer the pink column into this tube. Rehydration can be carried out using RNA's free water which is supplied with the kit. You can add up to 50 microliters of this RNA's free water to the upper part of the tube. 50 microliters. When you transfer the RNA free water to the top of the tube, care should be taken that you do not touch the membrane as this can lead to disruption of the membrane. After hydration of the membrane, you need to maintain, to maintain in a hydrated state for two minutes. After two minutes of hydration, or what is referred to as incubation, you may spin down the tube for one minute at 13,000 G. Your RNA can now be recovered in this collection tube. Downstream processing of RNA involves testing of the quality using a spectrophotometer followed by cDNA synthesis or sequencing. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the RNAZ plant DNA RNA extraction kit from Kaijin. For more information, kindly visit the Kaijin website. Thank you.